You're the one living in a fucking dream, oh, man. Because I know it happens. It happens. Next story. LATimes.com. Who the damn turned to Swiss cheese? Rapture reveals grisly secret. Rain Markinson. Two to three minutes. Lake Mead sudden and rapid water depletion has revealed a horrifying truth long shrouded in secrecy. The 1930s construction of Hoover Dam entombed hundreds of workers within its concrete pores. But the cause of the water loss is far from ordinary. Witnesses claim the chaos began on Sunday, coinciding with reports of mass disappearances and unearthly occurrences across the region. Many believe these events mark the Christian rapture, where the faithful are sent to heaven. What remains, however, is a terrifying testament to the event's dark underbelly. Eyewitness videos of the rapture event show the scene as apocalyptic, grotesque skeletal figures, some still chained to construction equipment, burst from the dam walls, spewing water and boulders of concrete in all directions. The sudden eruption has carved massive canyons through the concrete, sending Lake Mead's precious water roaring downstream and jeopardizing power production for millions across the parched southwest. It was like something out of a nightmare, recounted a shaking construction worker who narrowly escaped the chaos. These, things, writhing and screaming, just started flying out of the dam like living jackhammers. The sound of the dam coming apart was like thunder, and now the whole thing's on the verge of giving way. The official narrative surrounding Hoover Dam's construction has always maintained that no workers were buried in the dam. However, whispers and urban legends of entombed laborers have persisted for decades. Fueled by the dam's sheer scale and the notoriously harsh working conditions of the era. Now, with the dam's decaying interior exposed, the truth is undeniable. Historians believe the entombments were deliberate acts, repeated gruesome sacrifices of human lives to appease the gods of efficiency. The dam was created with massive concrete blocks, but the concrete pour for those blocks was continuous, said Jasper Artisan. An octogenarian whose father died like an animal under mysterious circumstances while working on the dam. That poor did not stop for anything. For anything. Continued Artisan. If someone slipped and fell in, no one was stopping that poor. No one. Authorities have scrambled to contain the situation, but the sheer scale of the damage is overwhelming. The Bureau of Reclamation has issued an urgent evacuation order for surrounding areas, fearing the dam may not hold much longer. The structural integrity is compromised, admitted Dr. Michael Evans, a leading dam engineer. Each additional breach weakens the dam further. If it collapses, the full consequences are unimaginable. Millions could be displaced, entire cities plunged into darkness.